before we get into this video, we've got something interesting to show you! Introducing Blox Buddies! The best new Roblox plushies you can buy at a very affordable price! They're big, cute, and soft and come in all different types! And now, Blox Buddies is also providing you an offer where you can get 5% off and have your own buddy to cuddle and play with! So, what are you waiting for? Shop at BloxBuddies.com! Your cutest new best friend can't wait to meet you! The link will be in the description down below! Enjoy, Sparkles! Okay, everyone, here we are! at the most famous farm in Brookhaven. Please be sure to stick together so you don't get lost. Excuse me, Miss Peyton? What is it, sweetie? What if we want to hang out with our friends instead? I mean, I want to look around the place with my bestie, Tori. That's totally okay, sweetheart. And of course you can have fun with your friend. But make sure to not go any far, all right? <laughs> yes, Miss Peyton. Thank you so much. Let's go, Tori. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look over here, Tori. This black horse is so beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> it really is. I wish I could ride that beautiful horse. You still can. Wait, how? Duh, it's easy! Just go inside and jump on the horse to ride! What do you think? Um, I like your idea, but Morgan, Miss Peyton would get angry at us, won't she? Oh, come on, she won't even have any idea! Look, she's busy with the other kids! It's your chance to go for it, Tori! Plus, I got you, girl! I won't let the teacher see you! Uh, are you sure? Of course! Now go, go, go! The horse is waiting for you! <laughs> okay, here I go! <laughs> yes, I did it! Yippee! <laughs> it looks so cool up here! Hey, look over here, bestie! I'm here! <laughs> huh? What are you doing? <gasps> Morgan, why are you locking the door? <laughs> I got you, idiot! <laughs> no! Wait! Morgan! Don't leave me alone here! This place is covered with so much dust! Please let me out! Miss Peyton! Miss Peyton! Look at what Tori did! She went inside that stable and she even locked the door! Oh no! This is terrible! Everyone, follow me! Please let me out! <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Tori! Here, I got you! Stay back, Jan. We will need to break this lock. Get me a hammer immediately! Here! <laughs> Tori! Are you okay? Yeah! Thank you so much for helping me! I can't believe you did such a thing, Tori! You are such an amazing student and yet you went against my warning? Wait, no! Miss Peyton! I wasn't the one who locked myself in there! It was... Stop making excuses now, Tori! Now, everyone will stick together and you're not allowed to hang out with your friends! Got it? Mm, yes, miss... Sh sure I'm Tori I'm 15 years old, and I deal with OCD. I wasn't always like this, until that horrifying incident happened to me, which haunted me deeply. After that day, even until now, I'm afraid of mud, afraid of dirt, afraid of anything that stuck to me. And since then, I always make sure to wear a mask and clean up my surroundings in order for that nightmare not to happen ever again. Unfortunately, it made people think I'm a weirdo who wears a mask all the time, and I'd get bullied at school for that. That queen of a bully was my ex-friend, Morgan. Thankfully, I'm always with Jen. He is my neighbor and also my best friend. He makes sure that I don't get into any kind of trouble. But to be honest, I don't think of Jen the way I used to think as a kid. Being so close to him always gives me butterflies in my stomach. And when a handsome guy like him comes to protect you like a superhero, 
There's no way a girl can't fall in love with such a decent man. But I'm afraid to tell him anything, as I think he might not feel the same way about me. I'm afraid that he'll start to hate me like Morgan, and I'll end up losing my best friend all over again. So I have decided to keep my mouth shut. At least I have him as a friend. And that's all I ask for. Psst! Hey, Morgan! Here she is! <laughs> There's the freak. Come on, let's go! Hey, freak! How are you doing today? Please just leave me alone. Aww, are you gonna cry now? Cry, baby? <laughs> that is so pathetic! <laughs> Why do you even wear that mask, huh? What is it that you're trying to hide? Hmm, let me guess. Pimples? Acne? Or maybe just your ugly self? <laughs> well, guess what? No matter what you do, you will always be a loser. Get that? <laughs> Why are you always targeting me, Morgan? What do you want from me? Hmm, good question. Just take off that mask of yours, freak. We don't even want you here. Yeah, why don't you just leave this school already? Or do you really like to get bullied over and over again? And I think that you girls should get a life instead. Because bowling will not get you anywhere. Am I right, Tori? Ugh, here he comes again. OMG, it's Jan, the hottest guy of the school! Ah, I know, right? But what is he doing here? He's the senior student, right? I think you've come to the wrong side, boy. This is the junior side, so would you like to leave us alone? Is that how you talk to your seniors? <sighs> Whatever. Just because you're some psycho genius and got yourself enrolled in the senior group doesn't make you any better than us. It's not my problem that you don't have one thing inside that skull of yours which is termed as brain. Jen, let's just talk later, alright? No! I need to give this girl a piece of my head, Tori. She's the one who's getting you in trouble all the time. And all you do is just ignore everything even though you're all shattered inside. Ugh, I'm sick of this drama. Like, come on, are they going to kiss in the school hallway now? Please, just leave for now. Class is about to start soon, and I don't want anyone to get in trouble, alright? You should leave now. I'll see you after class. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. I'll see you later, I guess. And if she does anything to you, just let me know. Alright? Bye. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna do my work now. Y yeah me too. <laughs> uh, girls? You know what? Fine, I can bully her all by myself. Now you listen up. I'm not afraid of that jerk, okay? So don't think you've got some superhero with you. Hey! Wait, where are you going? I wasn't done yet! Ugh! So, what did we learn yesterday? Do any of you remember? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Riley's crying. <laughs> huh? Riley? Are you okay? Why are you crying, sweetie? <laughs> this, this girl in my school. She bullies me all the time for having OCD. She says that I'm the weirdest one in school and that I don't belong there. Is that true, Miss Tori? Am I really that weird for being different? Well, of course not, dear. In fact, you're even more special. You like to stay away from dirt while other kids enjoy being in the dirt and they get scolded by their parents and guardians. But you like your surroundings clean and that's it. You're not weird at all, sweetie. Don't let yourself down just because of some hateful comments. They're just jealous of you. <laughs> Do you really think so? I know so. And also, if you want some true friends, why don't you ask Daryl and Kayla to be your friends? I'm sure they won't mind. Will you guys? Of course! I'd love to be your friend, Riley. Yeah, me too. We can all play outside afterwards. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys! Seeing them happy, realizing the true meaning of friendship, somehow makes me so... glad. <sighs> Um, okay kids, back to studying now. I'll be back in a few minutes, alright? Hello? Jan? Hey, what's up? 
What are you doing? Seriously, Jan? You're literally standing there on your balcony. And what kind of question is that? You know this is my tutoring time. Why did you call? What do you mean I'm at my balcony? Nope, I'm not. Uh-huh. Why don't you just turn around then? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'm sorry for calling you right now, but guess what? I got to tell you something a little important. So why don't you meet me at the Brooks dinner after you're done tutoring those kids? Um, I don't know, Jan. I've got homework to finish. I don't think I'll make it. Oh, come on. It won't take too long. Plus, this news is going to surprise you for sure. <laughs> oh! And also, will you dress yourself up a little? Wait, why? You don't like the way I am now? Oh, come on. I've been around you for years now, and you know me very well, Tori. I just want you to look more feminine, okay? Hmm. Alright. Only if you insist. <laughs> Is he trying to confess his feelings for me? What a surprise date? <sighs> I need to look perfect then. Miss Tori, we need your help with homework. Uh, yes, coming! Ugh, I can't believe he didn't even offer me a ride. Am I just gonna roam around with a fancy outfit like this? How selfish. Ugh. Anyways, here I go. Ugh, it's so difficult to walk on these heels. Ah! What the heck? Are you blind or something? Oh shoot! I'm so sorry, I... I didn't see you, ma'am. Uh, you ruined my entire dress! And I look like a total mess right now! Ugh! Ew! This water stinks! Please, just relax. It's just water anyway. But don't worry, I've seen a public restroom nearby. I'll take you there. And how am I supposed to trust you, huh? What are you, some kind of kidnapper? Please, trust me, ma'am. I just want to help you for the mistake I've made. Um... Hello? Ma'am? Oh, uh... So... let's go? Ugh, whatever. You better not try to kidnap me because I have a pepper spray with me all the time. Um, okay. I wonder what kind of deodorant he used. It smells so... manly and good. Ugh. Great. The dress is all ruined. I'm so sorry once again. Um, you know what? You can keep this. What the? What is this? A bomb? Whoa, no, 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 no. It's not that. I was going to surprise my girlfriend with this dress as her birthday is coming up in two days. But I think you need this dress more than she does. Wait, what? Her birthday is coming in two days? And you're already going to give her? Uh, I wouldn't talk about my personal life with anyone, though. But my girlfriend is the kind of person who likes early gifts, so... Ah, I see. And it's okay. I don't need it anyways. No, please, you should keep it. It seems like you're going somewhere fancy, and now that I ruined your dress, that's the only way I can make it up for my mistake. Plus, maybe this dress was meant to be yours. Hmm. Okay, I'll go change now. Sure. Wow, this dress looks so expensive. I'm sure his girlfriend really loves expensive stuff. But how come he can afford this expensive dress? He doesn't look that rich at all. <sighs> Whatever, I don't have time to think about this. Anyways, I better get rid of this mask too. Gosh, it ruined my makeup as well. Okay, fine, don't worry. I'll be there soon, okay? Yeah, bye. I love you. Uh, may I ask who you were talking to? Oh, uh, it was my girl. <laughs> oh. What? Nothing. You look... beautiful. I... Hey, Tori. I waited for quite a long time for you now, and I think you won't be able to make it. I will be a bit busy tonight, so I won't be home. I hope you're okay, and if you're unwell, please have some rest. Oh, shoot! It's Jan's message! I can't believe I missed my chance! Dang, did you miss your date or something? <sighs> Don't talk to me. Wait, Tori! 
Wait, what? How do you know my name? You accidentally dropped your identity card. <laughs> I'm surprised that you go to Brookhaven High School. I'll also be attending there tomorrow as a senior, so I guess I'll see you there tomorrow. Ugh, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Can I leave now? Ah, uh, okay. Bye. Sorry once again. Hey, Tori. Oh, hey, Jan. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to make it yesterday. You see... It's totally okay, Tori. I knew you'd have some very important things to do, so I don't mind. Are you sure? I mean, I ruined our date. Date? Oh, do you mean me and my girlfriend's date? <laughs> don't worry. We had a great time together there. Wait, what? Your girlfriend? Oh, yes. It's time for your surprise. Sydney, come over here, babe. Hey, babe. How are you doing today? Ooh, who do we have here? This is my best friend, Tori. We're actually neighbors as well. Oh, wow. Jan told me a lot about you. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but do you have something on your face? I mean, why are you covering it with a mask? I... Uh... Sadly, she has some critical OCD. But still, she's the strongest girl I know. Aw, that's so great! You're so powerful, girl! <laughs> Anyways, it was good to see you, Tori. I need to head back to class now. Are you coming with me, babe? We have economics together. Oh yeah, sure. I'll join you in a bit. Okay, I'll wait for you in the class. Love you! Mwah. Love you too, my cupcake. So, how was the surprise? Uh, huh? Tori? Are you... Uh, crying? N no It's some happy tears. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Jan. Can I ask you something, though? Of course. Why did you tell me to be all dressed up if you were going on a date with your girlfriend? Oh, it's because you were going somewhere fancy, and I didn't want to show up in a gym suit or something, you know? Ah, uh, I see. Well, have a good time with your girlfriend, Jan. I have biology class now. I'll see you later. Hmm? Something is weird. Noise. Is someone crying? Oh no. Did someone hear me cry? Hello? Is anyone there? You! What are you doing in a girl's restroom? You pervert! Whoa, whoa, calm down. I should be asking you that. What are you doing in a guy's restroom? Wait, what? Oh no! Uh, this is so embarrassing! <laughs> we meet again. Anyways, my name is Sean, and your name is Tori, right? So, why were you crying? That's none of your concern! And stay away from me! You didn't even wash your hands, did you? How disgusting! Um... Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to be weird. It's just, I can't stand the dirt and dirty surroundings. Hmm, you were like that last night too. Do you have a problem with dirtiness? I have a disorder. It's OCD. That makes sense, to be honest. I wouldn't call it an OCD. Seems that you're psychologically traumatized after a bullying accident. Don't worry, I think I can help. Heck no. Please, Tori. Let me do this for you. Ugh, fine. But just stay away from me, okay? And if you're having doubts that I will be impressed by you, then you're totally wrong. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm already in a relationship, remember? Whatever. OMG, there you are, babe. And what the heck? What were you doing with this dirt inside the boys' restroom? Wait, what? Uh, it's not like what you think it is. Babe, she accidentally came inside the restroom. Uh, whatever. Now follow me. We need to prepare the list of items we need for my birthday this year. Um, y yes. Coming right behind you. I gotta go, okay? 
So my bully is your girlfriend, huh? Are you even happy with her? She sounded as if you were not her boyfriend. More like a servant. <sighs> my dad works for her family, and I don't know what she saw in me. She's all crazy about me. So much that she wants me to marry her soon and have kids. Jeez, that's too... I know, but I have to do this for my dad, so he can keep working there. I see. Anyways, I'll check you after school. Maybe at the cafe and discuss the plan. I... will try to be there. Alright, and always remember, you don't have to wear that mask to hide your beauty. Show your true beauty inside and outside to this world. And don't be afraid of being bullied, because the one who bullies you is actually just jealous of you. And your achievements. Well, bye! Mm-hmm. Bye! And for the very first time, my heart started to beat rapidly. Hearing his words made me smile, and I was all ready to change my life. Hey, I'm here. You're 5 seconds and 58 nanoseconds late. Dang! <laughs> What's so funny? I didn't know you were that punctual. <laughs> That's great to be honest. Now, can you please just tell me about this stupid plan of yours? Or do you want me to just leave? You're not gonna treat me up for a coffee? Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> no, no. Wait, I was just kidding. Okay? Now sit, alright? <clears throat> okay, so... Firstly, we need to remove that mask on your face. So take it off. Um... Is that really necessary? Well, duh. If you want a new life, then you must get rid of it first. Uh... Okay. That's what we're talking about. You look so beautiful without that, you know? Thanks, I guess. I always used to hear the opposite from your rude girlfriend. She was once my best friend back when I was a kid. I'm really sorry about that, Tori. <sighs> it's okay. It's not like you did anything wrong, so don't be sorry. What's the second plan? It's simple. Can you give me that cup of latte? What the heck? No! Get your own! It's my fave! I'm not asking to drink it. Just give it to me. Hey! Okay, so have a look at this, okay? Uh, are you going crazy, Sean? You're literally making me stare at a cup? Nope. Ah! What the heck? Sean! What did you do? I'm all dirty! Someone help! Just relax, Tori. This is part of the plan. Isn't it fun? Are you crazy? Do you think being dirty is fun? Ugh, you're such an idiot! Come on, Tori. There's nothing wrong with being a little dirty. You can throw some latte at me to have revenge. Come on, do it. <laughs> See? You laughed. I... I didn't. Uh-huh. Are you sure? <sighs> I guess you're right. I don't feel that uncomfortable. Great! But that's not all. I have the complete list prepared here, but before I explain more, we need to clean you up a little. For sure. <laughs> Let's go. And that was it. We became closest of friends. I started to forget about Jan quickly, as he was always busy with his new girlfriend. But I had nothing to worry about because Sean was by my side all the time. She looks so pretty! I know, right? So much prettier than Morgan. Ugh, just shut up, girls! You did it, Tori. Good job. Whoa, is that really Tori? She looks so... gorgeous. Hey, Tori! Oh, hey, Jan. How are you doing? It's been a long time. Jerk. Um, hello? Are you staring at Tori? Uh, not at all. I know, right? And you look so different. So... beautiful. <laughs> all thanks to a guy who helped me change my life. I think I'd never be able to change myself if he wouldn't encourage me. Hey, Tori! You look great! Oh, thanks! Okay, everyone, please seat yourselves, as we have an important announcement to make. As you know that yesterday we discussed the field trip to the camping, and I'm going to discuss the members who will be joining us tomorrow at the camping. The ones who were assigned, so the list goes... We have Amanda, Rosie, Morgan, Jan, and Sean. Oh! Oh, and also Tori. So, Miss Brooke, we'll be there for you guys who'd show you around and make sure you guys have a fun time. Huh? What the heck? 
Camping? I didn't assign myself to this. How? Please be sure to pack everything which is useful for camping. Thank you, students. <sighs> Coming! Huh? Jan? Trust me, Tori. I wanted to confess my feelings to you, but... I was afraid of what my classmate would think. With me being a senior, and who's dating a girl like you... What do you mean, a girl like me? You never noticed me. How could you be this selfish, Jan? I was the one who was by your side all this time. You should have asked me out on a date, because I truly love you. So you do love me? I... I don't know. It's not too late, Tori. I can tell that Sydney and I are not meant for each other. It's just my friends were pushing me to date her as she's the most beautiful girl in our class. But my heart has always been yours. Truly yours. Would you want to be my girlfriend? What about your girlfriend, Sydney? Isn't this cheating in some way? Don't worry. I will end things with her tonight. I know she will understand. I love you so much, Tori. I don't care what people think anymore. You are beautiful. Aw. <laughs> I love you too, Jan. I've always loved you. So, uh, Sydney's not here? <sighs> well, unfortunately, she couldn't handle the pain. And she decides to not come to this trip. That's... sad. I feel so bad for her. No, you shouldn't. I mean, if she truly loved me, she would have respected my decision, right? But she didn't, so it's her fault. Don't be so sorry for her, babe. You're way better than her. Way more beautiful than her. <laughs> Thanks, love. Okay, everyone. Please gather around the campfire so we can start our day in this cool camping area. Oh, wow. She's... Really hot, isn't she? <laughs> Ew! Stop it, Jen! That's our teacher of the day! <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I thought we will be having an old cranky lady for today. But man, she's hot. Yeah, I guess. My name is Brooke Wilson, and I'll be your teacher of the day. First of all, we will need to build a fire and get some tents ready. So, everyone, keep on moving and start looking for some wood to light up the fire. I'll be back in a second. Come on, babe, let's find the woods. Uh, yeah. Right behind you. Mmm, that was delicious. Hmm, I wonder where the teacher is. Uh, yeah. Me too. Well, I think I should be looking for her. Wait, let me join you too, babe. No, no, babe. You stay right here. I don't want you to be in danger. This place can be full of monsters. Uh, you're right. Please be careful, love. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Hey, would you like some hamburgers I just made? Leave me alone, Sean. Please don't act distanced towards me now. I know it's my fault for dragging you into this, but I think it was for your own best. I said, leave me alone, will you? I'll be looking for my boyfriend now. He went to see Miss Brooke, but both of them didn't return. Wait, what? You're dating Jan? Surprised or shocked? <laughs> Should be. Wait, I'll come with you too. No thanks, I'll be fine. Please. I promise I'll not ask for anything after this. <sighs> Whatever. Shh, I hear some noises. What kind of noises? It's coming from here. Come, follow me. Uh, uh, okay. We must head back now. It's a little bit late now, don't you think? Uh, it's Jen with Miss Brooke? Alright, babe. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <gasps> oh, uh, babe! 
Uh, look! I found Miss Brooke! <laughs> you traitor! Liar! How could you? Babe! It's not what you think! Uh, I'll just leave. No! <laughs> wait up! Why did you do this to me? You said you loved me, and here... You're having an affair with a teacher? That's disgusting! Okay, fine! I cheated on you, okay? I cheated on you because I can! What do you think, huh? Do you think I'm that same little Jan who would help you around all the time? I'm not pathetic like you! You, woman, don't deserve anything! Don't you dare touch her, or I'll kill you! I won't stand hearing some useless stuff about the person I love! Who are you, huh? You pathetic girlfriend servant! Stop defending her, okay? Just move out of my way! That's enough! Ah! <gasps> OMG, is he bleeding? He's bleeding! Quick, call the ambulance! Tori, I'm sorry. No, I should be sorry to you, Sean. You loved me all this time and didn't even tell me. I... I was so blind that I never noticed your true love for me. I'm sorry, Tori. I knew the truth about Jan. I knew that he... knew that he was a cheater, but I didn't want to tell you because I thought you wouldn't believe me. And you know, the only reason I made you change yourself... Your life was destroyed by my girlfriend. So you could have the person you love the most. I only did that so you could smile. I'm sorry if I hurted you. Stop the car. No, Sean. Just say what your heart says. Don't stop yourself today. Do you love me? I... I don't know. Do you? I... I do. <laughs> I love you so much, too. Thank you so much for being there for me, Sean. I think something is going on here that requires an explanation. Go ahead, I'm listening. Morgan... I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. You see, I don't think we deserve each other. I deserve to be with Tori because I feel true love only when I'm around her. And don't worry about my dad. I've talked to him. He's okay with me finding a part-time job so we could live comfortably. I don't need you anymore. I only need a girl like Tori in my life to be by my side to support me, not to order me. I hope you understand. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need you anyways. Have a good life with this junk. Bye, losers. How funny is it when a loser herself calls someone else a loser? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. 